I am Teresa at Track Creation for you, where we explore, experiment, execute effectively. Today, I want to give you an update on Microsoft Team Recordings auto expiration date. Back in August um, 2021, Microsoft announced that all Team Meetings recordings will now have an auto expiration date. After 60 days of the original um, recording date, the file will automatically delete. Well, Microsoft has received some feedback from users that made them rethink the default expiration time period, and that's what I'm going to talk about um, today. Last month, Microsoft announced that um, the new default um, set expiration period is 120 days instead of 60 days, unless your organization system administrator changes the policy. So why did Microsoft make this change? Based on the user's feedback, uh, Microsoft learned that 1% of users do not review uh, meeting recordings after 120 days compared to 5% after 60 days. Apparently, they wanted to tighten up the percentage gap, so they changed the deletion period from two to four months. So how does the deletion process work? Anytime a meeting is recorded, the media asset is saved in a designated folder titled Recordings on OneDrive or SharePoint until the default expiration date hits. Then the recording is automatically deleted and moved to the recycle bin for another 30 days. So you get a total of 150 days of your video um, being available to you. So users still have the flexibility to modify the auto expiration date. You can choose the set dates of 14, 30, or 60 days. You can enter a customized date between 1 and 9,999 days, which is about 27 years. So that's a lot. Um, you do have the um, option to choose never, but once again, I don't advise it for all of the videos um, that you're saving. Keep in mind, the main purpose of the auto expiration is to preserve space and retain meaningful files. Um, and so choose a date, 90 days or even up to 365 days if you feel like keeping the information for about a year. Microsoft um, target rollout date changed to March um, 2022. They want to work with some early adopters to make sure that there's no issues um, before they roll it out in April 2022. So one thing is system ministry have until March 25th to make sure you want to change any policies before they make any updates. So users have been asking, how will they know if their tenant has been updated? And you'll get a notice similar to the one you see on the screen that basically says, this recording is set to expire. And then the site owner and co-owners can edit the expiration date um, if they need to. So this is going to lead into my last slide. Um, Check out the original video that I did back in October 2021 that kind of talked about who is impacted, who can edit and delete recordings, um, how to adjust expiration dates, notifications, and the recycle bin and how to restore. So it's really good information for you to know. Keep in mind in that original video that I, I am referencing 60 days and it has been changed to 120 days. Okay, I thought I'd give you a bonus clip and I'm actually in my OneDrive account and under my files and I'm going to that recordings folder. This is reserved for all non-channel personal or group ad hoc meeting recordings. And as you can see, I have one in here that was actually, uh, um, you know, created on October the 5th. So think about it. Once um, 120 days, actually, this is ready to be um, moved to the recycle bin um, as of um, February the 5th. So once Microsoft go through that um, upgrade um, late March or um, by end of April that I will get that notification that we talked about and it will go to the recycle bin but it gives me the option to make some changes but if I click on here and let's look at some of our options let's go to details 
and notice that if I want to make a change to the expiration date, I can do that here. Once again, I do not recommend having no um, um, date listed there. Hope this helps.